Welcome to Success in Medicine. I'm Dr. Samir Desai. Are you preparing for an interview at UT Southwestern Medical School? If so, congratulations. You're one step closer to becoming a medical student at one of our nation's largest and prestigious medical schools. Did you know that six faculty members at UT Southwestern have received the Nobel Prize? The school is known for its cutting edge research, not to mention its excellence in patient care, as well as teaching. You'll see that firsthand during your interview. Unlike most schools, UT Southwestern has a two-day interview process. On the first day, you'll be able to join clinical rounds with UT Southwestern students. And then on the second day, you'll have two 25-minute faculty interviews. In today's podcast, I will be providing you with some very detailed information that you can use to elevate your interview performance at UT Southwestern. As always, I'm not satisfied with giving you general information, so my focus will be on the specifics, information that you can use to stand out. At the end of your interview day, when your interviewer has interviewed five applicants, you're the one I want them to remember. What does it mean to receive an interview at UT Southwestern? It means that the admissions committee has decided that you have the academic ability to handle the challenges of medical school. Now, in the interview, the focus will be on determining if you have the personal qualities necessary to be successful as a physician. So what are these personal qualities? At UT Southwestern, important personal qualities include leadership, self-appraisal, determination, maturity, and coping capabilities. Think about these qualities during your interview preparation and consider how you can highlight your strengths in these areas in your interview answers. There's something, there's something else that should be an important part of your interview preparation. That's visiting an important website, the Student Doctor Network. At this very popular website is an interview feedback section in which students have described their experiences in the past while interviewing at different medical schools. If you pull up the page on UT Southwestern, you'll even see a list of interview questions that students have encountered in the past. Today, I thought it would be a great idea if we discussed one very common interview question from this list. As I was looking over the list, I came across one that's been asked not only at UT Southwestern, but also at schools across the country. It's a very important question. Here it is. What do you like to do for fun? I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound like a hard question to answer, especially when you've been working hard to develop answers to challenging ethical questions about abortion and stem cells, or even tackling difficult traditional interview questions like, tell me about yourself, or what's your greatest weakness? The question, what do you like to do for fun, sure seems like an innocent and lighthearted question. As it turns out, this question is a lot harder than it seems, and many applicants run into trouble with it. But how you respond and what you say will reveal a lot about who you are and your personality. Interviewers sometimes ask this question early on in an interview as a way to break the ice. Interviewers know that applicants are nervous. By asking this question, they hope that you'll be able to relax a bit. Unfortunately, many applicants will end up answering this question with a one or two line answer, often because they are nervous. A short answer to this question early in the interview may leave the interviewer with the impression that this interview will be very, very hard. The interviewer will worry that you won't have much to say and that the rest of the interview will be a lot of work for them as they try to pull answers out of you. So one of the reasons you want to prepare a revealing answer is so that you can make the interviewer relax. If you're able to do just that, you'll have set the proper tone for an easy exchange of information. Of course, this question could also be asked later in an interview, but no matter when it's asked, it's important to answer it well. So let me give you key points to elevate your answer. To begin, I would like to tell you that there is no need to give a long list of interests, which some applicants do. You're not going to score points for having the longest list, 
Instead, focus on a few interests that you really enjoy. In discussing your interests, show enthusiasm. Sounds obvious, right? But you'd be surprised how often enthusiasm is lacking when applicants answer this question. Honesty is also important here. You wouldn't think that applicants would lie on a question like this, but some applicants have been known to make up or exaggerate hobbies or interests in an effort to impress interviewers. Let me share with you a true story of how one applicant got himself into hot water by exaggerating his interests. A colleague of mine is an avid golfer and has met some famous golfers. He has framed some of these pictures and has them on display in his office. During one medical school admissions interview, an applicant spoke of how much he enjoyed playing and watching golf. It quickly became apparent that the applicant knew very little about the game, including the difference between a birdie and a bogey, or even the names of golf's four majors. He was hesitating and fumbling with his answers, and it was very, very clear that he was caught in a lie. Many applicants worry about having only a few interests to share. You shouldn't be concerned about that. It's how you talk about the interests and what you reveal about yourself that matters. If you speak genuinely and passionately about your interests, you'll be well on your way to a winning answer. As you decide which interests to share, avoid anything that could be viewed as concerning. I don't find that this happens with faculty interviewers, but I have heard stories of applicants dropping their guard with medical student interviewers discussing such interests as drinking beer and partying. Don't think that you'll impress an interviewer by saying you don't have any free time. So if somebody asks you what do you do for fun, you don't want to answer that question by saying, well, I don't have much free time. Remember that schools are looking for people who are well balanced with outside interests. A career in medicine is very hard and schools need to ensure that you'll have the work-life balance to maintain your emotional well-being. Now let's go over a few examples of how to answer this question. I'll first present a sample response and then I'll show you how to make the response even better. And remember, the better response is one that reveals something about you. Example number one. I like to spend time with family. It's something very important to me and I make it a priority. I'm sure we'll all agree that spending time with family is great but we can make this answer even better with specifics. Let's try it again. I like to spend time with family. It's something very important to me, and I make it a priority. Our fa family has always enjoyed visiting the local farmer's market. There is one very close to our house every week, and we really enjoy strolling through the stalls, hearing amazing stories from farmers, and supporting these small family farms. Let's do another example. Example number two. I like to watch TV, especially reality TV shows. You can easily make this more powerful by focusing on a particular show and describing why you enjoy it so much. So let's try it again. I like to watch TV, especially reality shows. One of my favorite shows is Shark Tank. In listening to entrepreneur stories, I'm reminded about important personal qualities for success. Every time I watch, I see people who demonstrate a strong work ethic, find solutions to difficult problems, and bounce back with resiliency when things don't always go in their favor. I think that there are some important lessons that you can learn from the show. Example number three. I love animals and like to volunteer at the Wildlife Rehab Center. Here again, the applicant has chosen to provide a brief answer but it is an answer that has significant potential. A story here can easily elevate its impact. So let's try example number three again with a story. I love animals and like to volunteer at the Wildlife Rehab Center. The center takes care of baby squirrels until they're old enough to be released back into the wild. I was so impressed with how they nurture animals in distress that I had to become a volunteer. With other team members, I take care of hundreds of baby squirrels, doing everything from weighing to feeding. It's been great to be part of a team that cares for animals with, with respect and compassion. Example number four. I like to cook. 
Let's make this example even stronger. I like to cook. What I really like about cooking is learning about trying and making ethnic foods. I find that whenever I do this, I learn so much about other cultures and perspectives. I've even taken cultural cooking classes at several cultural centers, met some wonderful people, and expanded my palate too. So there you have it. Four examples of how you can reveal more about yourself in answering the question, what do you like to do for fun? In closing, I want to remind you that this episode is just one in a series of episodes where I discuss interview tips for individual schools. I'm also working on an online medical school interview course. And if you have any suggestions, perhaps some questions you'd like me, like me to address in this course, send us an email through our contact page at thesuccessfulmatch.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Samir Desai.